Hey guys, welcome back to Nick's Tips and Tricks and today we are going to be talking about how to run a waterfall. So there's a lot of different ways to run waterfalls um, and some of the different techniques are better for different size waterfalls or how deep the landing is or how the lip might be. But for today we're going to focus on how to plug a waterfall or to do a tuck. What is a tuck or a plug? Essentially what it is is when you're rolling off the lip, once you get vertical, you're going to tuck your body in nice and tight and plug the boat in as streamlined as possible. Essentially the idea here is to have the softest impact as possible when you're running the waterfall. How to do a tuck or a plug? Uh, you're going to kind of roll off the lip. You're going to come down as you roll off and you're getting vertical. You're going to keep your body straight over top of the boat. You're going to spot your landing so you're going to look downstream towards the landing and you're going to wait till you're about anywhere from 10 to 20 feet from the landing and then you're going to tuck your body slowly but uh, nice and tight forward and get as, as forward and as streamlined as you can with the kayak. What I like to do is I like to put my arm in front of my, in front of my face. I like to tuck my head to the side a little bit, um, protecting my face so I'm not going to smash my face off my cockpit rim and also protecting my hand in front uh, to stop anything from possibly hitting me in the face like my paddle. I'm going to be tucked over to the side with my paddle so my paddle will be uh, parallel with the kayak and try to get um, as close to the kayak as possible and really tuck in nice and tight. Uh, why do we do this? Um, it's going to be the most streamlined that we can be with our kayak, so you're going to go have the least amount of impact from the, the green water when you're landing or the foam pile or whatever against your, your body, your head, your face. And it'll give you a nice deep uh, entry into the water and essentially be the softest ways that you can uh, kind of come off of a waterfall. A couple specific tips when you're doing this. I like to kind of come to the lip of the waterfall at about a 45 degree angle and slowly kind of let it roll off and then as it's rolling off I'll be pulling it a little bit straighter until my boat's straight and vertical as I'm coming down and then only once it's straight angle going down the falls I will start looking to um, tucking in. Practice this technique on something smaller, maybe 20, 25 feet. Um, anything lower than that, it's actually harder to practice a tuck because you don't have enough time, you don't have enough free fall to really get tucked in. Um, and anything over 20, 25 feet is perfect for a tuck, but uh, I wouldn't advise just going straight to a 50 footer if you've never tried this before. So maybe practice on a couple smaller waterfalls and kind of work your way gradually up to uh, bigger waterfalls. Um, or just watch, watch your buddies do it and, and uh, check it out. But there's no rush to running big waterfalls. Uh, it's fun, but like anything out there, there are uh, inherent risks towards uh, the larger waterfalls. So please be safe out there, guys. Have fun, and uh, yeah, it's cool. So another tip for running waterfalls, especially the larger waterfalls, I actually like to carry um, a mouth guard in my life jacket pocket, and if I'm running anything 20 feet or higher, definitely anything over 30 feet, I'll throw a mouth guard in right before I pull out of the eddy. I find it also helps with a less, little less impact to the head, um, and just makes the whole experience a little bit softer, so give that a try if you're interested. My final tip and, and a key focus for running the waterfall is while you're rolling off to really spot that landing. Um, just like anything, whether it's doing flips on a trampoline or whatever it is, uh, you're always going to go in the direction that, you're, that your head is looking. Um, so really focus on the landing of your, the waterfall and where you want to land and your boat and body will likely just follow that. So if you want to go straight down, I'm going to kind of come off, roll spot my landing, be looking down at my landing, tuck in nice and tight, wait for the impact, and then uh, hopefully just resurface, perfect. So thank you guys so much for tuning in on how to run waterfalls, especially for how to tuck or plug a waterfall. And um, 
please leave me your comments, uh, any questions you guys have. Uh, if you're interested in how to boof, we've already made that video in the past, so go check out one of my other videos. Uh, if you're interested in how to stop a waterfall or 45 a waterfall, uh, please subscribe below because that video is coming soon. And again, thank you guys so much for checking out the channel, checking out my videos. Um, but please stay safe out there, guys. Um, don't go just watch this video and go to the next 50 foot or 80 foot or whatever it is and go run a waterfall. Please work your way up slowly and cautiously and practice your, your techniques before you take it to anything too big. Uh, I want you guys to be safe out there. I want you guys having fun. Uh, I know I am. So thanks again for watching and stay safe, guys. Have a great day. Go run some waterfalls. Super fun. Cheers.